Hi, I would like to welcome Melinda Anderson from Panicot Journeys, based in the beautiful island state of Tasmania in Australia. Let's hear from her experiences they offer and how unusual are these. Thank you for the opportunity to, to take you through that. Um, we have quite a few experiences now, which is, is wonderful. So okay. we do actually have six experiences in Tasmania and one in Victoria. Um, we are very much focused on accessing the coastal wilderness of um, particularly southern Tasmania. Today I'm obviously focusing on Tasmania okay. and getting people to places that they would not normally have access to. So it's a pretty awe-inspiring exhilarating experience because not many of us have the opportunity to access these remote and rugged coastlines in a safe comfortable way and right. get to see this absolutely amazing landscape so that is you know really what is unique and that we are a team it's a family-owned business and a team of local guides who are really passionate about the ocean and sharing um, amazing stories and landscapes with people. So I'd love you to take you through. Okay. We're highly awarded. Um, we have won 12 Australian Tourism Awards, particularly showcasing our commitment to sustainability. We're in the Hall of Fame for Sustainability and Ecotourism. We're 100% carbon offset. We're an advanced ecotourism operator. Our head office is based in Hobart, which is the capital city of Tasmania. Um, but our main, um, our tours and experiences uh, operate from Hobart, from Bruni Island, which as you can see direct, directly south of Hobart, also at Port Arthur, which is just up a little um, to the east, and then right. further up to uh, Freysenay National Park or Coles Bay, and that is, um, th that is a new addition to our portfolio. Um, I've just summarised all our experiences here. But I am going to focus on Bruni Island and Tasman Island today right. and as our core experiences and also touch on wine glass bay cruises a little bit more. But I'll just summarise them all just to give you a bit of a snapshot here. Pictured, right. we can actually see um, one of our key highlights on our Bruni Island cruise. So you can see our iconic yellow boats there as they cruise right up to those awesome sea stacks. We're not a speed jet boat experience. We're a stop interpret cruise right up and um, in a very safe way. So whilst the boats we have are very powerful, it's actually about making sure it's an immersive, um, wonderful experience, not right. fast, zoomy, zoom, if that makes sense. <laughs> you're in an open boat here. You can see it has a cover, but it's open air. So you're actually feeling, seeing, smelling. It's a very much an immersive experience that you're right. getting. Our Bruni Island cruise is a three-hour wilderness cruise from the south of Bruni Island. Um, so generally people would self-drive there um, or we do offer a full day option with morning tea and lunch. Uh, at our briefing, we give you the red coats, which you can see with everyone yeah. sitting on yeah. the, the boat. So that is a wind and waterproof uh, jacket. It's actually a full length one. So, and um, they just slip over people's heads. So they're really easy to go over whatever you might be wearing. It is colder on the ocean, so regardless of the time of the year, we do encourage people to rug up, so put layers on, and it's always worthwhile bringing some gloves and beanies or, a, you know, and, and a jacket or things you can take off, you know, just making sure you've got right. the warm layers. Right. But we do provide the wind and waterproof jackets. Why you would choose this, uh, this cruise is, as I said, for these awesome sea cliffs, amazing rock formations like that sea stack the blowhole these waterfalls abundant wildlife seabirds whales dolphins seals so um, it really is just simply spectacular so you tend to treat the whole um, visit as not just our cruise but also exploring the island which mm -hmm. is is a reason why you might choose Bruni Island cruises as I said, we do operate our own full day tour, which includes the bus transport, the ferry, the guided sightseeing and morning tea, lunch and the wilderness cruise. It's out of the world. It's like uh, seeing something very different than what you usually uh, see when you go on a tour. Absolutely. I mean, the coastline and what people love about 
um, accessing Bruni Island too is it, it's an island. So the island is actually the size nearly of Singapore, but we only have 850 permanent residents on the island. So most of it is national park. So you've got this quite large island with these amazing landscapes um, and not many people around. So uh, that adds to the, you know, how special it is. Similarly with our Tasman Island cruise, that is also a three-hour wilderness cruise, but that one's from Port Arthur. We also offer a full day option there with morning tea and lunch. So that they both leave from our Hobart office um, with our bus, with our guides driving the bus, often also being the, a skipper or deckhand on your boat. So it's a really lovely experience that you're talking to people who are also delivering your cruise. So you're spending the day with them. And then these cliffs are even bigger. Then when you look at the Port Arthur um, coastline, uh, here we are looking at the highest sea cliffs in the southern hemisphere. This cliff we can see called Cape Pillar is over 300 metres high. So it is awe-inspiring uh, to crane your neck and try and look upwards as we go to the very bottom there. Right. So what's, am what's amazing about the boats that we use, they were custom built to access these, these coastlines that we're doing in a safe and comfortable way. As we get right up close to these sea cliffs so you know you can almost touch them so we get our um uh boats into sea caves at, you know that's just something people could never access if they didn't do um what we what we have on offer here similarly to our um bruni island one again abundant wildlife we're looking at albatross and gulls here dolphins uh, migrating whales here's one of the arches or caves that we poke our heads into again lots of seals so definitely a, a, a significant wildlife component. But the archways here and the sea stacks along this coastline are simply spectacular and are quite iconic. The archway that we saw before is called the Totem Pole and the Monument, and they're, you know, well regarded as mountain for mountain climbers or um, Port Arthur Historic Site is just around the corner. So... This is what the convicts got to see, you know, when they were here, when we, when um, the convict settlement was there. So quite an amazing rugged coastline. It marries really well. So often we'll say to people, because the way we price and um, structure the tours, that they're the same length, people might choose based on what part of the world they would like to see. If you haven't been to the Port Arthur region before, the Tasman Island cruise works really well with a visit to the historic site or something else that you might be doing there. And for people who've never been to Tasmania before, Port Arthur is probably a must do on the bucket list. Being an Aussie specialist, I mean, uh, we kind of, you know, get a lot of information about different regions of Australia. And Port Arthur is one of the talked about uh, sites one must visit. But what is it that is uh, that it makes it a must visit for the visitors? Yeah, well, I guess one, it's such a significant part of our history uh, and heritage is that you know it was the largest convict site and and were part of that but if you the ru the ruins and the buildings of port arthur you know are, are absolutely beautiful but they're looking out at this type of landscape uh that is and it's such an easy day trip it's only 90 minutes from hobart so you you're getting a significant part of the history of tasmania but also taking in a simply stunning landscape if someone chose to do tasman island cruises um, we offer three options for the Tasman Island Cruise Day Tour. One is just general sightseeing with our guide and we do some great um, natural attractions in the region. It's a very beautiful, um, lots of beautiful scenic spots to stop at. And or we offer the Port Arthur Historic Site or Tasmanian Devil Unzu as an, op as an option. So if someone's really keen on wildlife, they might want to actually do the Unzu and see some Tasmanian devils, wallabies, those sorts of things, and um, wombats, and that's, you know, a wonderful, uh, another wonderful attraction. And also uh, then if they still want to explore Bruni Island and do the food thing, they could join the Traveller Tour. So that's a really nice mix right. where um, right. you, you're getting the water-based experience one day and you can do the land-based experience another day and you still don't need to worry about anything because it's all taken care of. And as both these tours are like, uh, they're taking a wilderness cruise, even though it's a soft adventure, but are there any restrictions on health or ages? No, if someone has severe mobility issues, it's probably worth having a conversation right. um, to make sure that everything's appropriate. But we have no age, age restrictions, uh, infants under 
three are free. Uh, so uh, we certainly cater for them. But because we're in a remote area and subject to weather conditions, if someone has um, maybe a, a bad back, uh, it's well worth telling our guides so okay. that we can place them at the back of the boat where there's less movement, those sorts of things. But that's probably very weather dependent as well. Right. Uh, and the same and, goes for uh, uh, motion sickness. Absolutely. So we give ginger tablets to everyone on our cruises um, and certainly offer them as, as just part of the experience. And we do recommend people take them. It's a natural ginger tablet. And um, generally we just ask that people tell us if they suffer motion sickness because, again, we might say, why don't you sit at the back or there are different parts of the boat or we would keep an eye on them. And our guides are really adept at keeping an eye on people to make sure there might be things we can do to make everything a bit more comfortable for them. They look very, very uh, different and unique. And somebody who is going to Hobart, it's such an easy option for them because they can just hop into your day tour. Everything mm -hmm. is organized and they can visit these sites and they can come back in the evening and they don't really have to worry about anything. It Absolutely. And our Hobart office is right on the waterfront. It's a very easy walk from most CBD hotels. Um, we do offer a drop-off service at the end of the day for our CBD hotels. So if people make the way down to our office in the morning and then we'll drop them off at, as close to at our hotel, their hotel as, as feasible. Mm -hmm.